Today, we're going to be working on restoring the inside of our doors. For this project, we'll be using our VHT's vinyl die. We'll use uh, satin black on the area here as well as down here. But for our accent area and to match the dash of our car, we'll be using VHT's dark charcoal gray. So we've got all of our interior pieces out and we're going to hit those with the VHT vinyl and fabric. We've got a lot of work ahead of us because we have a lot of pieces. I'm going to get started on this piece. We're actually going to be doing a two-tone job on this and Mark can take you through how we're going to prep the rest of these. Thanks, John. So for the inside vinyl here, we're going to make sure that we prep spray these to clean them and get ready for a fresh coating. But we did have one portion here where it's metal. So for this metal portion here, we can use VHT vinyl dye as well just to make sure the, the match of the finish is consistent. But we want to make sure we give this one a light scuff before we use the prep spray as well. We got a lot of work to do here, so let's get started. So we've used the Duplicolor Prep Spray and we've got all our pieces ready to paint here. Now one thing you'll notice is we have a thin piece of tape on this piece that we're going to two-tone. We had a piece of chrome trim there so we want to cover it up. We're not worried about a little overspray on this other side because we're going to go ahead and paint over that afterwards. So let's go ahead and get started, Mark. All right. What we're going to do is do two light coats followed by a medium wet coat with about 10 minutes in between each coat. Now once this is dry to touch, we can go ahead and put down our second coat. So we've let this top section of our door panel dry for about 24 hours with that black vinyl dye on it. What we're going to do now is we're going to mask this off and come back and hit this bottom section with our gray to give us a little bit of contrast. So we've got our top section here taped off and ready to go. What we're going to do is do two light coats followed by a medium wet coat with about 10 minutes in between each coat. We've got our two light coats down. We wait about 10 minutes and then we're going to come back with that final medium wet coat. So we've applied our charcoal and our black vinyl paint. What we're working on next is our accent area. This area here has been scuffed very well thanks to John, but uh, I believe it's plastic and just to make sure that we're safe with good adhesion, we're going to use an adhesion promoter and we're going to put that on there first before we put down our quick coat. The quick coat, we will be using enamel, that'll match the outside of the car once we have it painted, but this quick coat is an acrylic enamel, it's great for wood, metal and fiberglass. It's also available in a variety of colors, so this would be great for this type of application. So John, let's go ahead and finish taping off the bottom part and we'll get started. So we've got everything masked off and ready to go. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off by hitting this trim with the Duplicolor Adhesion Promoter. We're just going to put a light coat of that down, let it sit for a minute or two, and then come back with our VHT Quick Coat. Now one point you want to remember is to come back and paint over top of the Adhesion Promoter within 10 minutes. That's going to help the adhesion in the paint. While John's putting that down, our VHT Quick Coat will be great for this application. It's acrylic enamel and it's available in multiple colors. We'll put two light coats down, followed by one medium coat, and then we'll let that dry. Quick Coat does dry in 20 minutes and it'll be ready to use. We laid down three coats of paint and this has been drying for about an hour, so now we're ready to peel the tape and see how it looks. By using our VHD vinyl dye, we were able to restyle our door 
to match our dash. And we were also able to give a nice yellow accent down the middle using VHT's Quick Coat. So be sure to check out our website and look at all the other colors available and show us what you can do on Facebook or by posting a picture and sharing it with hashtag VHT Paint. And remember to stay tuned as we continue to work on our 1972 Sunset. Thank you.